Alrighty, welcome everybody to the presentation. I am Trevor, and I want to tell you a little bit about eBay's policy on um, dropshipping, what their official policy is. Because there's been, a, I've talked to a lot of people over the years that are like, no, you actually can't drop ship on eBay. That's that's against their terms and conditions. Um, I even had somebody once say they talked to somebody over at eBay who said that they weren't sure if you could do that or not. Well, I mean, that's just not true at all. So let me just be clear. You can do drop shipping on eBay, and it does fit in their terms and conditions just fine. They actually have an official page on it. And that's what I want to show you guys right here. This is their official, they call it product sourcing. Um, so it's pages.ebay.com slash help slash sell slash product underscore sourcing dot HTML. Um, I know that's kind of hard to see, but I'll, I'll make sure I link it for you guys. But this is it right here. And I'm just going to read you a couple of things here. It makes it very clear that it's just fine to do it. It says product sourcing, and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you guys can see it. Here we go. Um, product sourcing, sometimes called drop shipping, is one way to sell items on eBay. Sellers using a product sourcing service never handle the item, right? That sounds like drop shipping. Instead, it is sent directly from a warehouse to a buyer. The seller collects money from the buyer and pays the product sourcer for the item. This benefits both the buyer and the seller. Um, okay, so that's kind of the definition of drop shipping, right? So you're not carrying your own inventory. You have a supplier. They ship it out for you. Here's the question. Is product sourcing allowed or is drop shipping allowed? I don't know why they call it product sourcing because product sourcing can mean a lot of other things, but that's that's what they call it here. So is it allowed? Selling using a product sourcing service is allowed on eBay. Okay, but here's the stipulation. It says it's only allowed as long as the seller can guarantee that the item will be delivered to the buyer within 30 days of the end of the listing. Sellers who choose to sell using this method are responsible for the item and their buyer's satisfaction just like any other eBay seller. If there's a problem, it's the seller's responsibility to work it out with the buyer. So they have to put that in because I think over the years, as people have used drop shipping, let's say you list something for sale and it's coming from a drop shipping supplier and the drop shipper that, that ships out the product for you just completely drops the ball, right? Like they, they send it, but they send it in the wrong color or they send it, but they send the wrong product or it's, it's broken or whatever the case may be. Or let's say they send it and it never arrives, right? I think people in the past tried to use that as an out. So they're, they'd tell eBay and their customer, they're like, well, sorry, it's not our fault. Our supplier dropped the ball. And what eBay is saying right here is that if you use a product sourcing company, and this shouldn't surprise you at all, but if you use a product sourcing company, um, you're responsible, right? It says that here. Um, Sellers who choose to sell using this method are responsible for the item and their buyer's satisfaction. So you can't use the excuse that, well, I'm not, you know, it's from my supplier. That doesn't matter. You're the one who sold it, so you're responsible for it. Um, this is an interesting question right here. Do sellers have to tell buyers the item is from a product sourcer or from like a different company? And I've gotten that question a few times from a few of you guys, and the answer is, no, it says sellers don't need to indicate in the listing that an item is from a sourcer. Like you don't, you don't need to tell somebody there that it's from, it's coming from Walmart, or it's coming from your wholesale supplier. And that's why, like, if somebody gets an item and they figure out it came from another warehouse, they have no claim. Like that, that's not, that doesn't matter. Like when they saw it, you sold them the product. They were fine with it. It shouldn't matter if it comes from your basement or from the warehouse of a retailer. As long as they get it and it's the product they paid for, that's what's important here. So eBay will back you on stuff like that. Um, 
It says all sell. So should I be concerned about buying? This is for buyers, I guess. Should I be concerned about buying an item from a seller using product a product sourcer or a drop shipper? Um, it says all sellers, include, including those who use sourcers, are responsible for making sure that the correct item reaches the buyer in a good condition and within a reasonable amount of time. Buying an item from a seller using a product sourcer is no different from buying from any or buying any other item. So it's the same thing. So anyway, that's that right there is eBay's sort of official stance on on drop shipping. There's nothing else that that they have that that indicates anything otherwise. This is from their website. So if you've ever had any thoughts about, well, is it okay to do drop shipping and is that against their terms and conditions? It certainly is not. It's just fine. Um, you can you can do drop shipping if you want to do it, as long as um, you don't use someone who isn't reliable, who's not shipping out the product, who's shipping out you know junk products, right? That's not okay. You got to make sure you trust your drop shipper because ultimately it's your eBay account that's at stake, and you want to make sure it stays in good standing. So. That's it. That's the uh that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I want to make sure you understand understood eBay's position on that and you can if you're if you do a lot of drop shipping, you can do it comfortably knowing that, you know, you're definitely following the rules.